Hi everybody, Nancy Carlson here. I'm an author and illustrator of picture books, but I'm not here to read to you today. I'm here to teach you to draw a chickadee, one of the most entertaining birds that you'll ever get on your uh, bird feeder. So what you need, and by the way, I'm at the Isaac Walton League, my favorite place to look for beautiful birds. But what you're gonna need is a pencil, and some type of marker and of course paper and you can draw along with me let's get going all right so we are starting with our very favorite little bird the chickadee the chickadee is so entertaining at your bird feeder that you are definitely going to want to have a lot of feed in the winter here and watch how fun they are to at the feeder. They're so busy. They're one of the tiniest birds. They only weigh as much as three pennies. That's pretty light. So you're going to want to take your pencil and I always like to start with a guide. So I draw a circle and I'm going to draw an oval. Now that's my guide. Now I can pick up my pen and I'm going to follow around. One thing I want to tell you about a chickadee that's pretty important, they look just really like just a little oval. Um, they really don't have a neck <laughs> that you can see and they have a very tiny beak. That's an important part about a chickadee. So just draw a little tiny beak. Then you're going to follow part of the circle, but then continue down to your oval. And follow the oval around and back and underneath. So now we've got the body of our cute chickadee. You're going to want to draw this little flap he has here that's part of his wing up top. Now when you're coloring in your chickadee, his wing, this top wing, and then this little part down here is gray. It's not black, so you want to be sure you'll have a gray, some type of gray marker when you color this in. And then the tail comes out back. And you know what's kind of funny is that I'm actually drawing this chickadee bigger than he really is in real life. Then let's put the leg, you're going to put uh, two parallel lines, draw his little feet, and we're not perfectionists. That's one thing I want you to realize with your drawing. You don't have to have it perfect. We're just learning how to draw him. So the one thing that's distinct about a chickadee is his little black cap. And sometimes they call him the little bandit because it looks like he's wearing a, like a robber um, cap across his eyes. You're going to draw a little eye underneath and he's also got a black band right below his beak. So that's what makes him really distinct is his black cap and his little black, I would say it's almost like a turtleneck that he's wearing. Now just, so when you feed your bird, your chickadees that your bird feeder, here's some of the facts that you can learn about a chickadee that you can uh, think about. First of all, they raise, build their nests and raise their young in holes in trees. They also like to go into bird houses uh, that you built. So I have a bird house on my deck and he, a chickadee comes every single spring and makes a home in it. They line their nests with moss and maybe even, oh this sounds wonderful, rabbit fur to keep their little babies warm. Chickadees are really awesome birds to have in the yard because they eat insects. They love spiders too. So um, we do like our birds to come and eat our mosquitoes in our yard and, and maybe a few spiders. They have the most complex language. So a chickadee, it, um, it's, it's, it's funny because their, their name sounds like their call. I'm going to draw them again. I, I think I made his little oval a little long there. So it's a, a chickadee 
D, D. So he says, chicka D, D, D. The more D's at the end of the call means that he's worried about something. There might be a predator nearby. So if he has up to maybe eight chicka D, 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 that means beware. Everybody take cover. There's something here that could hurt us. He also has what I really like is um, a great call. It's called the Hey Sweetie call. And when you hear him do his hey sweetie call, that means that he's um, defending his nest or, I like this idea, he's trying to impress a gal. So when you hear the chicka dee 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 dee, that means they're nervous about something, but when you hear the hey sweetie call, that means um, he's possibly in love with uh, another bird. <laughs> A little distracted there, Nancy. Um, <laughs> and again, um, they are the most fun to have on your bird feeder. You're going to want to get lots of feed out for, for these wonderful little tiny birds that keep us entertained with their black cap, their little black turtleneck underneath, and their cute little white bodies with the gray. That's a better one. So, I hope that you can practice drawing a chickadee too. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you had fun drawing a chickadee. Um, I'm going to go draw some more today. I just like drawing their little black hat, little black cap that they wear. So, um, besides practicing drawing your birds, I think it'd be really great if you. Um, Think about the birds that come into your yard. Uh, first of all, keep your feeders full. And another thing to think about with your birds is in the spring, don't spray your gardens with chemicals because this is not good for our birds. They will eat insects that have been killed by, or that you know have the chemical on them or inside them, and the birds eat them and then they get sick. So please be careful about what you spray in your yard because we really want our chickadees to keep entertaining us and doing their good job of eating the insects so they, we don't get stung by a mosquito. So follow those uh, rules for a chickadee and uh, believe me, your feeder is going to be filled and you will be entertained. Okay, thanks for joining me. See you later.